Good afternoon. Uh, hi. Yeah. It's okay, you can speak, it's all right. I, I'm a preacher, so I work well with energy. Uh, my name is Michael Gray, and I'm a United Methodist pastor currently serving the church in Old Orchard Beach. And I'm here today on behalf of my wife, Robin, our daughter, Elizabeth, and Mainers all over the state of Maine who wish to see marriage extended to loving, committed couples right here in Maine. I grew up in Maine and always considered myself a conservative guy. I listened to Rush Limbaugh just about every day. I read his books, joined his email list. At church, I considered myself an evangelical. I listened to Christian radio and followed groups like Focus on the Family. It would never, uh, if you would talk to me during that time uh, in my life, I would never have said that I was against gay rights, just special rights. Sound familiar, actually? <laughs> After all, my faith told me that I was to hate the sin, but love the sinner. I really struggled with the issue of same-sex marriage. But through study, prayer, and patience, I can gratefully say that my faith now informs me differently. My faith tells me that gays and lesbians are no different than I. My faith tells me that I cannot discriminate. My faith tells me that loving, committed, same-sex couples deserve the same access to marriage that my wife and I enjoy. As I said, I am a United Methodist pastor. My church does not bless marriages for gay and lesbian couples. Other religions do. Nothing in the law that we've submitted to the Secretary of State changes that fact. Churches and clergy in the state of Maine will continue to operate in the same way that they do today. No church or clergy member will ever be forced to perform marriages that go against their religious beliefs. Six months ago, my wife and I were in this building to submit a proposed citizen's initiative to the Secretary of State to allow marriage licenses for same-sex couples and also to protect religious freedom. Over the last few months, we joined with hundreds of volunteers who have been out gathering signatures from friends and neighbors who support the freedom to marry. Like countless other volunteers who've talked to their neighbors about marriage, we found that the people of Maine have been thinking deeply about the issue in the last couple of years. A significant number of them have changed their minds, as we've seen in the polling and in the countless anecdotes from volunteers who've been out gathering signatures. Voters want a chance to speak again and bring marriage to the thousands of loving, committed, same-sex couples here in Maine. The incredible volunteers who gathered the vast majority of signatures you see behind me have labored intensely, gathering more than 105,000 signatures from all over the state. And now we're excited to be able to deliver the first fruits of that labor. Today we are submitting signatures from the people of Maine to bring marriage to the ballot this November and help win marriage for all Maine families. <laughs>